So by now, again, you're clear about who, who you are wanting to call into your business. And energetically with law of attraction, um, I don't know if you guys accidentally read the book, The Secret or watched the video that Oprah put together or, or the gal who wrote it put together. Um, but this idea that we ignore one super big qualifying aspect, which is what I don't want or who in this case I don't want. So in this section again, you'll notice that we're talking about saying yes to what feels good to you, to what absolutely lights you up. We're saying yes to the things that are going to transform you and make you feel energized and make you feel better. And we're saying no to obligation. No to the things that do not feel good anymore. Like really making energy and time work for you and on your behalf. So it's important to understand the non-negotiables, the red flags. Now in section three, you may have noticed that you went into your triggers. In section two, you went into your family. So those are gonna be indicators of what fucking doesn't work for you, okay? What patterns have been on repeat in the human beings that you've experienced over time. And let me just tell you, Yes, there are lessons at times that we have to learn. Sometimes those repeat patterns are for us to totally understand this personality type. But here's where I wanna suggest that maybe you don't have to bring them into your business and that maybe you don't have to energetically engage with them from this capacity. So when it comes to hiring, when it comes to bringing in clients, you want to work with an energetic alignment. You wanna work with somebody who you feel you can either transform, transmute, trans something. You don't wanna work with somebody who's resisting what you offer. They're not gonna be your raving fan. They're not gonna be the one shouting from rooftops. Rather, they're going to be splashing in the pool of doubt. And when they pull in that doubt, it's gonna spill out and it's gonna be harder for you to create the momentum that you want and get the people that you really are wanting in your business, okay? So you have to have a list of the non-negotiables, the qualifying aspects of a super fucking no for you. What energies are not invited into your space? Now, if you are still in the exploration of certain energy that is no longer fitting of you, I want you to really sit back in this moment and ask yourself if this is a lesson or a habit, okay? There's a difference here. Is this person a lesson or is this person now just become a habit? Sometimes we offer the opportunity to work with certain people because we're like, I must have something to learn here. This is a very spiritual misconception as far as I'm concerned. We don't have to learn all the fucking time from the people around us, okay? Sometimes we can simply say, I have graduated that energy or I feel very clear about this person. I'm pretty fucking done trying to prove myself. And that's the piece that you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself is, am I done trying to prove myself to this personality type? Am I energetically out of time and out of energy to try to work with this person? Am I done? Do I have anything left to prove? Do I feel pretty good about myself and what I've offered? And if it turns out they didn't transform and they didn't change and they still can't hear you and it doesn't matter what you do if you're dancing circles around them if you're naked if you're not naked if nothing is fucking transforming in their world no matter how hard you try how many dishes you do how many rooms you clean up how many things you offer for them if they're not changing under your tutelage under your guide guidance under your love whatever you're offering this person if they're not changing it may not be your lesson it may just be a habit. It may just be a personality pattern that you have to decide you're over. The lesson can be as simple as, I'm done. I'm done and I don't need to prove myself anymore. I think I'm good. And I'll, I'll explain this again, just to put it in, in um, story terms. I have, for the last several years, been a magnet to the narcissist. 
I had no idea. It really hadn't occurred to me how big of a deal it was until I started looking at my client base and going, fuck balls. I am really not interested in this category of person. Now, I had a plethora of other people who were not narcissists, but these like five to seven narcissistic personalities were always sticking out to me. And I understood it from the perspective of their insecurity was so great and is it something that I can transform? Is it possible to get inside of this person's experience and make them feel comfortable with me? I know I can't make them comfortable in the world, but can I make them comfortable with me? And I figured out Again, more or less how to do that. In some cases, it took a five-year relationship to get inside that space. In some cases, it was really easy. And in some cases, it never fucking shifted. And by the end of, in one case, almost a 20-year client relationship, this person has never changed. This person still has never not once asked me a question about me. That's narcissism in my world is like, having zero care for another human. And at a certain point, you have to wonder there's not an energetic exchange here anymore. Or I'm just done, I don't have anything to prove to you and I don't need to do this. So this is what I want you to sit down and write or what are your non-negotiables energetically? What drains the fuck out of you? What energy drains the fuck out of you? If, and, and put a name to it. Name these motherfuckers. If it is like Ben Fulton from whatever time period in my life, this person was a real drag, write all the characteristics of this person. Like what was it about this person that totally manipulated me or fucked with me or drained my battery? What was it about this guy? Or Jennifer, what was it about Jennifer that just totally like robbed me of my energy and just stole two hours of my life for 20 years? What is it slash was it about these people that are fucking non-negotiables to you anymore? And do you feel graduated from it? So when you are writing out the who you want to invite into your business, have some clarification around the qualification that you want to invite in. So if you're offering something to somebody, you might say something to the effect of, you are somebody who, cre uh, you are somebody who takes responsibility for their actions. You are somebody who always says yes when they are up for a new challenge or a new experience. You are somebody who is easily coached and totally open to the changes and totally open to um, advice and constructive criticism. You are somebody who is ready for the challenge, ready for the change, ready for the transformation. And then qualify with, you are not X, Y, Z. You are not somebody who thinks the world revolves around them. You are not somebody who's a straight up no to everything. You are somebody who's a yes. Does that make sense? So I want you to write those, those non-negotiables. Again, we don't have to give a lot of energy to the who this person is not because again, law of attraction manifestation would say that we are always in belief of what we don't want. It's really easy to believe what we don't want. It's really hard to believe in what we do want. So don't put too much effort in the who you don't want to invite, but do write down the disqualifications of that person, okay? Do make sure that you are very clear about the non-negotiables, okay? Lots of love, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Be soon.